round eight of the Intercontinental Continental Rally Challenge, the legendary Rally San Remo. And Abart star Gian Domenico Basso clinched victory by almost three quarters of a minute on San Remo this weekend. The eighth round of the series is the Italian's second consecutive victory, coming hot on the heels of his win in Spain's Asturias just a fortnight ago. And it's marked a major turning point in what had been a disappointing season up till then. The closing stages of the championship, and Basso and the Abart finally on song. As the Italian charged through the stages, championship leader Nicola Viorz was not able to match his pace and perhaps mindful of the importance of collecting as many points as possible, finished in second spot for the fifth time this season. Boyer still with just the one win, but he is the championship leader. Outside of the championship battle now, Italian Luca Rossetti, but he claimed the final podium spot in his Peugeot on the twisty roads of San Remo. Showing that the Abba Grandi Punto has finally got some kind of a handle on the performance of its rival Peugeot's was a much better performance from Renato Travaglia. He claimed fourth, although he was a minute off the podium, and he too has dropped out of the championship battle. Disappointing event for Belgians, Freddy Loix. He's twice been a winner so far this season in the Peugeot. And after a disappointing event, he slips down to third in the title race. He too is out of the equation for this year's IRC crown. Fellow Belgian Bernd Cazier was, as ever, going well in the Volkswagen Polo, but he crashed out of the event.
So confirmation of the result then. Jan Dominica Basso winning by 42 seconds over Nicola Voyoz. And the top two were really clear of the rest of the field. As they are in the championship, the battle is between Voyoz and Basso. And essentially, Basso's got to win the final two events to deny Voyoz the title. The question is, how many of them are going to end up going to the finale in China with a chance of the title? Peugeot have just about done enough to clinch the manufacturer's title after a disappointing season for us.